This video shows how to tack a heli using a hat cam video and a computer. Not much to it. Here's a heli freak video that I downloaded from YouTube. Now we're going to take a look at the head speed for that helicopter. First thing we need is a program to analyze the audio, and we're going to download that from SourceForge. The program we'll use is called Audacity. It's free, it's quite good, and I use version 1.37 beta. It's available for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. We'll need to make some adjustments to the program before we start to use it. So under Preferences, we can select Spectrograms. And then we adjust the FFT size to the most narrow band setting so that we can get the best view of the frequencies. And we're also only interested in frequencies up to about a thousand hertz, since 3000 RPM is only a hundred hertz. So now I can take the video and drop it into Audacity. The program shows me the stereo audio signals for the entire five and a half minute video. We don't need stereo in this case, so I'm going to take those tracks and convert to mono. And really, we're only interested in the first 20 seconds of the video, so I'll select that, zoom to selection, and then fit vertically. Now this is looking at the sound signal or sound level as a function of time over 20 seconds, but really what we're interested in is the frequencies. And this program has a nice way of looking at things. We can click on this little triangle, select spectrum, and look at the spectrogram or the spectrum as a function of time. And this is exactly what we're looking for. Down at the bottom, we have a line at roughly 100 hertz, which is the main blade rate, close to 3000 RPM. Above the main blade rate, we see harmonics and other related frequencies, one of which is the tail rotor at 400 hertz. But for now, we're going to focus on the main blade rate, so I'm going to select two or three seconds of audio here. And let's listen to it. Sounds reasonable. Now we can analyze it and plot the spectrum. I'm going to try to make this as big as I can so you can see what's happening. For the audio analysis, I like to choose the most narrow band FFT that I can which in this case would be 16,384 points. And you can see that finer features start to show up on the spectrum when I increase the resolution of the FFT. And the other thing is that the spectrum shows a lot of high frequencies that we're not really interested in. If we go to the axis and select a logarithmic frequency scale, we can get the plot to focus on the low frequencies that we are interested in. And the program has a nice feature where the cursor will snap to peaks. And in this case, we see that the peak is at 85 hertz, which is the main blade rate. 
If we multiply 85 hertz, or cycles per second, by 60 seconds per minute, and then divide by the two blades, we should get the head speed, which in this case is 2550 RPM. Now we can go over to idle up here, grab a couple of seconds of audio, and listen to it. Sounds fine. Now analyze that. And see we have a new peak at 93 hertz. Again, all we need to do is take 93 hertz, multiply by 60, divide by 2, and we see that the head speed is 2790 RPM. We could also tell earlier in the video that the head speed dropped off when the heli lifted off. If we're interested in head speed during hover, we can now analyze that section. We can see that the spectrum changed quite a bit this time, and that the first peak has dropped down to 91 hertz. In that case, 91 times 60 divided by 2 is 2730 RPM. 